Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show some of the free agricultural statistical tools available on the internet, more specifically present on the International Rice Research website, IRRI. These apps has similar features which are present in some of the costly and paid software such as Indostat, SAS and SPSS. Before taking your time, I would like to tell that what are the different features present in these apps. If you find them here, you can proceed to the further part. If not, you can skip this video. There are three main apps in their website. Among them, STAR, which is an acronym for Statistical Tools for Agriculture Research, has more generalized designs such as CRD and RCBD. Then PB Tools and CropStat has more design oriented towards plant breeding. So let us see one by one what are the different aspects we can deal with these apps. In STAR, we can design these many experiments. If it is fast, you can pause the video and watch. And in data analysis, we can do these many things. And we can also do the correlation, regression, and multivariate analysis. And also, we can plot these many kind of graphs in the STAR. In plant breeding tools, we can design these kinds of experiments. And we can also do the data analysis of these parts, such as multi-environment analysis, including AMI, BIPROS, etc and in crops that these many things are present in order to download the software from the desktop open the chrome and search the keyword as irri i r r i later click here it will take you into the official website of the international rice research institute from the home page select resources and tools so it will take you into this page so scroll down and click on digital tools then from this page scroll down and you will find these icons from here we need to click on plant breeding tools so in this page we will find all the tools which are needed for our agricultural data analysis click on the name of the application and we will be directed to this page so from here we need to type the mail id and then we need to click on submit so after submission of our mail id we will get a direct google drive link so we need to click on there then we will be redirected to this page then we need to click on download and wait until the next page open from here click on download anyway right after that the installer will start to download here then the same story continues for plant breeding tools also click on the name and wait until the next page opens here type the mail id click on submit then you will be redirected to the same google drive link then click on the google drive link then you will be redirected to the same download page from here select download and then after that from the next page select download anyway and the installer will start to download here too in order to download the cropstat go to the web page and click on the name cropstat installer.zip here there is no need for registration through mail we can download it directly from the google drive we won't get an installer with this format because it has been already extracted and compressed so from here click on the download icon then download anyway from here the download will start before installing any of these three applications we need to download and install the core package on which these apps are built so in the same page where we downloaded all these apps on the same line only we will get the r packages 1.5 first we need to download it and install in order to run these apps so click on download then download anyway then the download will start for this too once after all these files and packages have been downloaded then we need to install the r packages so directly from the browser itself i will open then i will click on run then ok then after that the installer with the name install 4j will appear and start to install the package and this is same for pb tools also after the files have been extracted out then we need to click on next for each and every step and we need to give permissions for all the things what the installer need in the same way we need to install the plant breeding tools also same steps what we seen in the r package and this is same for star also so let me open the plant breeding tools and show you how the interface looks the interface what we seen in plant breeding tools is exact as similar as the interface what we seen in the star also so let us have a look at the interface of star let me close this app here you can see the interface of star app which is as similar as the plant breeding tools let me close this too as i can talk about this in later part starting from where i left from the browser let me open this compressed file since i do have win zip or winrar it will open directly so i will extract it in a new folder on the desktop 
if you don't have any dedicated unzip file you can download 7zip or pzip which are available as a free software so from the extracted folder let me open the file so from here we need to click on setup from this new tab we need to click on cropstat for windows 7.2 is the version of the cropstat app so after that the app will start to extract out and then we will get into this interface so from here we need to click on next and click on next and give some permission after this we need to type the company name i will type the company name as student and proceed further after installation we can click on readme.txt to know about more information about this app let me close all these windows and start the app as from the information what we got from notepad we can see that this app is built in between 1900s and 2010 so it has some stability issues after that it started again so this is what the interface how it works how it looks so let me close this app and start with the star app please do refresh the windows because these apps are old it takes a lot of time for these apps to load itself so after some time the star app will load and this is how the user interface looks like so from here we can monitor our project such as saving the project opening etc so from here we can monitor the data and from this tab we can design the layouts of these many kinds of experiment from the analysis tab we can do all these tests so and the most important tab is the help because we will find a user manual here and in this user manual each and every step what we need for our data analysis has been recorded so please study this user manual before your data analysis and we can also save this manual locally here i am saving in desktop and we can take the print of particular pages which are needed for us in our data analysis as i told earlier the interface of plant breeding tools is as similar as to the star as you can see here if we open these two apps simultaneously these will fit in same application as two different windows the only differences we can find is in its randomization we can design these many experiments in plant breeding tools and can do these many types of tests or data analysis in plant breeding tools and this is also having the user manual which is more needed for the beginners and we can study this user manual and save it locally and take the print of those sheets what we need let me close all these windows and open the cropstat app since this is an old app and in the help we won't find an user manual here we can find the related information and we need to click on context or index so from here we can select any of the subject and we can print them or we can see them on the screen by clicking on display so this is what all about the apps let me close them all and get into the practical part where i will explain certain examples of data analysis which are very difficult to do in ms excel or any other alternative tools but they are very much easy in this applications so before getting into the data analysis we need to convert our excel file into csv so this is my field p data sheet so here you can see i have taken 11 different variables so from the file menu go to save as and browse the place where we need to save our file and from this tab we need to select the place and i am storing it in a new folder and from here we need to change the format so i will select csv format that is csv comma delimited then i will save it you can also follow these steps for converting an excel file into csv so let me open the star application and import this data sheet double click on the star icon and give enough time for the application to load in and from this console we need to click on data and then we need to give a right click and select the option import data and from this tab we need to select the location where our data set has been stored that is in .csv format then click on open later we will find our data set in data folder so click on the data set and ignore this warning this is due to incompatibility in some text in the columns so click ok from here we will see our data set has been imported to the console so from the menu bar select analyze first i will do some correlation so click on correlation from this tab we need to select all the variables for which we need to calculate the correlation and from these tabs we can select the different correlation coefficients so at last click on ok to start our analysis so after that we will find our results here 
so let us do a different analysis this time i will consider multivariate analysis so from the data set select analyze and from the multivariate analysis i will click on principal component analysis so add all those variables for which we need to calculate the principal components and we will make the genotypes as our id variables then click on ok then our data analysis starts immediately in case if you are familiar with the spss you will observe that the interface is as same as the spss so we will do another multivariate analysis this time we will do cluster analysis so from the analyze menu go to multivariate analysis and select the cluster analysis so from this tab we need to select all our variables and we need to add them and we need to make the genotypes as our id variables so from this tab we can select the euclidean distance and different methods i will select ward minimum variance method and it is good to select all those options what we get in our analysis so if you don't want that means we can ignore from the results later at last click on ok then our analysis starts as usually then copying the results is as easy as what we can think so just right click on the output file select the copy and go to the destination where we need to paste it so i will paste it in the desktop data analysis folder hit ctrl v the results will be pasted here so this is that simple so we can also do this for other files also in order to show you an example for analysis of variance i did downloaded a data set from the internet so let me import it into the data set so from here go to analyze click on anova and here we need to select rcbd so from this tab we need to select the responsible variable i will just select the cotton yield as my responsible variable then since we have considered the genotypes and replication in numbers we need to convert them as factors if you have already considered them as alphanumeric or alphabets you will get them by default in this tab only so select genotypes as our treatments and and replications as the blocks so click ok to get the anova so friends this is what all i needed to convey if you like this video please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because i do need your support to make these kind of videos and do check my data analysis playlist in my channel for more videos like this and if you find this video useful please do share with others and please do comment in the comment section below about your experience thank you